you overshot the runway. What is it? They... <laughs> boom. Give us the boom, right? So, uh, yeah. Hey, this is Unleashing Leadership. I'm Travis Moss, CEO of Seed Planning Group, and Dave Nurchi, my co-host, Chief Operating Officer of Seed Planning Group. We, uh, we're going to put a boom in the last episode right at the end, a little mic drop boom. And uh, Dave just started laughing at the end for some reason. Dave, what, what, what were you thinking? Why, why the cold feet on the boom? I don't know. I had, had nothing else to say, but it was, this wasn't like a boom moment. It wasn't really a boom yeah. moment. Yeah. So it was just, can't, yeah. Uh, yeah. I hesitated. Right. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, Hey, anyway, <laughs> back to our podcast, this show is all about takeaways from great books and how we implement those into our business, how we look at our business, how we work with people in our business. You can learn from us. Maybe this inspires you in your business, or maybe you don't have a business. Maybe you're just looking at your manager or boss or business owner and thinking they're crazy nuts. Well, maybe this will help you get a little bit more perspective about them, or maybe they are crazy nuts and you need to move on. I don't know. Whatever, Whatever's <laughs> going on there, maybe this show will help. Will help. Um, and today we're doing takeaways from the book Build by Tony Fidel. And our takeaway, really perfect. Last week we did Learn Fat, or last week, yesterday, last episode, whatever whenever that episode was learn it was five minutes ago because we do these five at a time but five minutes ago we were talking about learn fast and figure out um what you want to do next now we're talking about if you want to prove yourself you need to put in the time and it is a personal choice so we're going to kind of discuss that a little bit today and before we do as always do us a favor like or subscribe to us wherever you're listening or watching that Definitely helps get the show out without likes and subscribes and comments. People look at it and they go, that must be boring. Nobody's liking or subscribing or commenting on it. And we, you know, I always say, but I do mean it. We'd love to work with more people like us who are trying very hard to get better professionally and personally and trying to help people around them get better. This is how we can build that community. So help us out. Help yourself out. Um, brings more resources to the table to kind of continue to develop this. All right. Our sponsor for today, Seed Planning Group. Uh, shameless shout out for Dave and I. It's actually where we work every day. Fee-only fiduciaries, a wealth management firm that helps people overcome the challenges that are keeping them from personal fulfillment. And yes, this is actually how at least I talk most of the time. I'm a little bit mouthy and people have learned to put up with me. Um, but, uh, Dave is always a gentleman, so you'll, ne you're <laughs> never going to catch him, um, acting like that. No, I'm joking. Um, my kids listen to the podcast. So. Yeah. So we're trying to swear less. I am, I am working on that. So that is more kid friendly, but you know, they, they got to learn how to deal with that. I guess. Yeah. You know. They're going to be on the school bus soon enough. Right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> happen one way or another. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be sensitive to that so the kids can listen. <laughs> Um, uh, check out Seed Planning Group at seedpg.com. That's seed, PG as in planning group.com. Seed is spelled S E E D, like you're planting a seed. There you go. Um, all right, Dave. So if you want to prove yourself, you need to put in the time. It's a personal choice. Let's start out with the personal choice part. Okay. Like everybody's out there, they, they want stuff, right? Yep. I mean, we want more time off. We want to be able to work from home. We want a four-day work week. We want more money. We want vacation. We want better benefits, more 401k, better job security. You know, what do people not want? I'm trying I to want, think want, what. want, want, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah. Give me, give Everybody me, Everybody wants me. stuff, yeah. right? Yep. All right. So how do you get stuff? I guess that's a separate question. The first question is the personal choice. So it's, it's got to be a personal choice then. What are you willing to do for the stuff you want? Yeah, I, I for, with this one, I go right to the whole like, and I know you love this topic, the work life balance. You gonna make me swear? Conversation. Yeah, that's that's. I'm the trying goal. really hard <laughs> to not swear. I know a guy who's trying not to swear a lot. And um, how's it going? Well, from what I hear, he's doing better than I am. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's All good. Right. You you could do it. Um, Work life balance, that the whole topic there. I think that's such a general like statement. And I, I don't even really know the meaning of it because it's, it's bullshit. Exactly, yeah, it's, it, there you go. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> that's what it is. It's, it's, it's bullshit. You don't need work life balance. It's uh, I mean, like, that's not a thing. That's yeah, not what a are thing. you balancing? Right. Yeah. Like, what, 
what is the balance? Are you saying you're life? dead when you go to work? Right. Or, yeah. Like you can't like work isn't part of your life or life isn't part of your work. Like it, it all goes together. And the, the personal choice is what you, what is, what is most important or what is the priority for you? Not what somebody tells you right in the four day work week or the don't put in overtime or, you know, make it to the kid's game. Like what's important in the moment? How do you work around your schedule, your life? Everyone's different. Right? Everyone has different lives. So it's the, the, it, the, the general statement of work-life balance just doesn't make sense to me. So that's where I see like the personal choice. It's if I want to get ahead at work or I want to make a difference and, you know, be a go-to type of person at the company, whatever it is, then that's my choice to put in the time and soak up everything I can and learn and, and be that person. If I, there's moments in my life or throughout the year that I need to be there for the family, the kids and things like that, then I'm, I'm going to shift that. Right. And it, it's, it's a game. You don't have to make a choice and live with that for the rest of your life. But you have to also understand then, okay, if this is a priority right now and it is important, then I can't be mad if I fall behind in an area, whether it's work, home, whatever, right? You have to be okay with the result and, and look at yourself and what time you put in. I heard, I don't know how I, where I heard this. I don't know what I was listening to, but I heard it. And uh, it's a type of, it's a typical thing that I listen to. So it could come from anybody. I, I have mm -hmm. no idea where I heard it, but I heard it while I was driving the car. And he was talking about, whoever was talking, was talking about the fact that, you know, everybody tells you to go get, you know, you, you need to do the job. That, you need to find the job that you're passionate about. You need to find something that your heart is happy when you go do it. Mm -hmm. Most people are never going to find that. Right. Because it's work. W-O-R-K means it's work, right? <laughs> like, like it, there, there's nothing convenient about work. It's, it's something you have to go do that you don't have a choice, right? That's mm -hmm. why it's work. Otherwise, it'd be entertainment or free time or something like that, right? Or a hobby. Right. Uh, but they were talking about the fact that you don't go and find your passion. You go and you do something that you are better than everybody else or the majority of other people at. You find whatever it is that you are really good at and you do it like crazy. And when you're really good at something and you could do and you do it like crazy, all of a sudden you become passionate about it. Mm -hmm. When you look at the most passionate people, they're also the best people at whatever they do. Yep. So which yep. one comes first? Chicken because it doesn't feel egg. like work, right? You're, because it doesn't, doesn't feel like work. Or the other thing that happens when you get really good at something, you feel really good about what you're doing. Yeah. And it feeds itself. It's Other like people get excited about it too, right? Around yeah. You. So work-life well, balance, how do you balance that out? You're looking for satisfaction. You're looking to feel like you, you're successful. You're looking to set the example for your kids. Then do something that is amazing, mm -hmm. right? And stop thinking that there's this magic pill that's going to make work fun. There's a lot of work that I do that's not fun, but it's pretty freaking awesome work. Yeah. Like when I get done with it, I go, that's amazing. Look at what we just did. I feel really good about that. And look at the change that we're making. And, you know, sometimes I have my head down. I don't even realize it. Steve said, Steve Campbell, our, our chief brand officer, and my co-host on Ditch the Suit says to me, he goes, you don't even realize the impact that you make on people. I don't think like that. I'm just mm -hmm. doing stuff because I think it makes a difference. Yep. And I'm trying to move the ball forward. And I'm hoping that other people around get to, you know, go along for that journey. Um, so there's, there's no question about like, you know, it's hard. It is hard. Some of the stuff you don't like, but then there's a lot of stuff mixed in there that, that is really good and really amazing. And, and, and it's really, you know, you, it really fills your cup. Um, well, think about but that. It also takes, go ahead. Yeah, you're, you're talking about work in that scenario, right? Like specifically work. The same thing goes for life, right? Like all of life isn't, 
easy and, and and like oh i i this is all exciting and most of and life that. is work too it's like yeah. you tell me when you go home and your and your wife's not feeling well and you gotta handle the boys yelling at each other and stuff that your life yeah. is not work you, you tell me that it's not work when you go home 100 percent work yeah that's yeah. A, that's a different type of work that's like every a- <laughs> parent i've ever talked to has said to me it's a lot of work raising kids yes so that's the, like you can't just single out work and say, oh, well, like there's going to be parts you don't like and like that's life anyway. Right. So yeah. it, again, it all mixes together and you, you got to take it and you got to keep a, a good outlook and positive and get excited about the things that are fun and, and the important stuff that you're doing. And that's the personal choice right there. Right. Having yeah. an outlook. So instead of saying, looking at it as negative, always looking at it as what can I get out of this? What, is, what, 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 what parts of this do I like and what parts can I look at and say, that's awesome. Look, yep. look what I did. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and so that gets us, I mean, we didn't talk about this <laughs> point at all. Um, you need to put in the time. I was thinking yeah. about this too. You know, they say what? 10,000 hours makes somebody an expert on something. I think so. Yep. Yeah. So how many people quit on their diet after like three weeks? Cause they don't see any difference. Right. Or they quit on the gym because the gym, they can't yeah. get rid of the, the spare tire. And it's like, yeah, you went for three months and you were 40 pounds overweight and you didn't lose a belly and you're like, oh, it doesn't work, you know? Yep. Um, how many people quit because they don't get a raise fast enough or a promotion fast enough or somebody else gets chosen over them without ever once thinking about, you know, what can I do with the time that I have here and and – what can I do to make, like, think of yourself as a vessel and you've got a certain amount of time in you, almost like an hour glass, right? And that mm-hmm. sand is, is your time. Yep. How do you make sure that that time is so valuable that anybody would pay you whatever you want to get some of that time? We don't think like that. Yeah, that's you know? deep. But we that's should. a boom moment right there. <laughs> yeah, well, you want to prove yourself. Yeah. You prove yourself by making your time so valuable. Not if you think it's valuable. Yes, you might have feelings and you might have this idea about yourself and who you are. It Value is nothing but in the eye of the beholder. It has to be value to other people. Mm-hmm. So when other people are willing to fight for your time, you're proving yourself. That's what that means. That's great. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>